Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Jeannie and your host for a diamond painting video about craft ease and they are the sponsor of this video. I have been um, generously given two diamond art paintings or two diamond paintings and I have uh, worked about half of one already. I'm really enjoying it called Meat for Lunch. It's on their website, craft-easeease.com, and you can find them there. And also put some links down in the description box uh, so that you can take a look at what they have on their website. It's not a prolific website, but it does have quite a few uh, pieces of art. And one of the pieces of art is one that I'm working on today is called Meat for Lunch, and that's by Penelope Hunter. She is an artist from South Africa. And the one thing I like about Crafties, among many things, is that they pay their artist's commission. Every time you buy a diamond painting or a paint by number from their website, then the artist that created that piece of work gets a commission. And I think that's a wonderful thing. I know when you're an artist or a creator, you uh, would like to receive a commission if somebody takes your work and makes money from it. So I think that's a grand idea. And there are a lot of companies who are following their lead but right now, Crafties is one of the few companies that actually advertise uh, that they, they pay their artist commission. So I'm very proud of them for doing that. And I was very excited when they asked me to uh, take a diamond painting and show it uh, in progress. They showed it un unboxing and how it looks as you're working on it. And then when I finish it, I'll do another video. And I might even show uh, a video how I am... Uh, going to seal the painting. So uh, that progression will come as it comes. This is the second video. The first video is up in the corner and I'll put that up there. Uh, as we leave this video, you can check that out. And that's where I unbox this particular painting. Now, I'm going to show the progress that I've made on it. I'm about halfway finished. And then we're going to unbox the uh, artwork from Sybil Art and let me tell you a little bit about Sybil Art. Stephanie Bau is the artist that's B-O-U-W I'm having to read a little bit of this and she is an artist from Brussels she is a painter and a children's book illustrator and has been doing this since 2009 so she's been around for a while and she's illustrated many children's books and this is a quote from Stephanie she says I paint pale-skinned maidens who remind me of Chinese porcelain dolls, silent and lost in their thoughts, floating in delicate fabrics, bright and contrasting colors, abundance of nature and patterns with a strong influence for Asian culture and aesthetics. I think you can see that if you uh, look at her art. Uh, she does paint many, many pictures of uh, very beautiful young ladies and they're uh, they're like a cartoon only they're very beautifully done um, it's just something that you have to go and look at if you are not familiar with her art and this particular piece that I selected is a floral piece that she's created and I will show you that when we get to the unboxing so let's take a look at my work table and we'll see where we are on our other diamond painting here I am at my craft table and I want to take you on a little tour of this painting that I'm working on. This is a diamond painting called Meat for Lunch by Penelope Hunter and uh, the diamond painting was created by Craft Ease and you'll see their website right there at the bottom and their um, social media address right there, Craft Ease brand. Now let's look at the painting itself. This is a uh, painting with a lot of confetti. All this in here, and this is at the bottom of the painting actually, this is 37 colors. So there are a lot of colors in here. Right in here they are mixed um, like they were just paint thrown on a canvas and I like that. I think it's really nice. It does slow me down just a little bit because um, I'm having to single place most of the drills here. If you'll notice here, there are a lot of colors in one square, like right here, right here, if you do it by squares. Now, what I did was I selected a color from my uh, containers that I have over here, and all my uh, diamond drills are in these containers, and I've labeled them by number, which is how you kit up a, a diamond painting. And I have been 
placing them mostly one at a time. I have done some multi-placing and I have practiced my multi-placing with, I'm using a three drill multi-placer and I am getting really good at this. This is only my third diamond painting. So I am practicing my speed. I don't want to spend weeks and months on a diamond painting. I just, I can't imagine doing that. <laughs> so I am learning to multi-place and right now I'm getting the hang of this three place multi-placer, three drill multi-placer and I'm going to perfect that before I move on to a larger multi-placer. But uh, if you're not familiar with diamond painting, this is a device that is on the end of your pen and you can put different size multi-placers on here, but they will place more than one drill at a time, or one, more than one diamond at a time. So that is what I am trying to perfect. Now, this particular painting, like I said, is very confetti laden down here. And I have finished it all the way up to right about here. And then I've, uh, I've got some other colors to put in here. But I have finished the drafts, the bottom part of the drafts. Let me pull this up so you can see it. I have finished the bottom part of the, these whimsical giraffes that are done in primary colors. And I will be moving on. And what I'll do is I will turn this around and that will put the top down here and I'll work on the top of it upside down. I'm not worried about doing that. If I have to, I'll turn it to the side or something. But I think I can um, be okay with the symbols. I'll, I'll know what the symbols are and I'll get you up here where you can see those. They're just mixed in, but they're S's and J's. It's pretty easy, and this is a light color as well. So that should be pretty easy to see. Now I have some places over here to fill in, and every now and then I'll see a hole, like there's a J right there that I need to fill in, and I'll do that as I work at the top of the painting. So um, I'm going to turn this around probably tonight and start working on the trees. The trees are blue, as you can see, and I talked about this in my last video, and I'll put a link to it up here, but I wanted you to see the, uh, the beautiful blues that are gonna be in this painting. So I'm looking forward to getting the trees done, and I'll check back with you again on this when I finish the painting. I'm over here at my work table, and I'm going to unbox this Crafties product, and this is their statement about their independent artist support. And I just want to read it to you quickly. We actively promote independent artists and collaborate with them by remunerating, remunerating them for their hard work and inspiring art, which means they pay a commission to the artist. So I just wanted you to see that. They actually put that on their box. They're very proud of that fact. And here is their logo right there, Craft Ease Diamond Art Kit. Very nice. I love their packaging. It's very, very pleasant. And they list everything that's in the box here. So you'll get a canvas to color diamonds, the tray, two applicators, tweezers, and two wax squares. So let's open this up. This is for a giveaway. And I want to show this to y'all. This is the second diamond art painting that they sent me. And um, they said that I could give this away to one of my subscribers so I'm excited about doing that so I'm going to unbox it here and you can see it and then you can also sign up for the giveaway on my channel so let's open this up very quickly and see what we have inside and let me get this open here this is what it looks like I'm going to roll this backwards just a little bit so it will lay flat while I'm talking about it this is the canvas and it is really quite beautiful so this is called floral fantasy and this is the uh, legend right here let me get it up here where you can see it here is a thumbnail of that particular painting that we're going to do well actually i'm going to give it away and somebody else is going to do it here's the thumbnail right there and then the color uh, legend, there are 19 colors in this canvas. So, move this out of the way here. And take a look at this beautiful canvas. I love the colors in here. These are poppies, which are my very favorite flower. And, of course, you have the brand of the company right here, Craft Ease. I like that. It makes it look very professional very professional like they really intended for it to look nice and of course they have their website and all on here and their social media 
Now let's pull this back and see. Ooh, it's very sticky. Very sticky. This is just like the meat for lunch that I'm working on by Crafties as well. So uh, this is about the same size. It may be a tiny bit smaller. This is a 40 by 40 centimeter. So let me pull this back. Now one thing I wish they would do is make this a little bit stronger material, this plastic. I ripped it uh, the first, I don't know, couple weeks that I was working on it, which is not a tragedy. It's not a tragedy at all. But I went to, um, started using these squares, which I know y'all have seen. These are the cover, cover squares, and they, they work just fine as long as there's some open spots on here where there aren't drills. But otherwise, you have to hold it on there with a cover minder, which is fine. Not a big deal. But, um, and I'm just starting this craft, so this is only my third... Uh, meat for lunch is only my third uh, diamond painting and so I'm still learning I have ordered some accessories and I want to show those to you in another video but uh, this is just the unboxing for the floral fantasy by Sybil Art so if you're familiar with Sybil Art she's the one who creates all the little girl pictures they're they're they're, they're kind of cartoony I think I'm not, I don't really love those, and that's why I picked this one to give away. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece of art here. The colors are magnificent in here, and the contrasts are quite gorgeous. And there's a lot of color blocking in here, and if you're not familiar with that, that means that there are a lot of uh, same number, same symbol colors in blocks, so they're really quickly... Uh, put on it's not a lot of confetti which is where the colors just thrown on there and you have one of these and one of those and one of these and you have to spend a lot of time opening and closing your drills your drill cases and all that and it depends on how you want to work it I usually just pull the corner back and start in a corner and pick the uh, the symbol that has the most color like in this, in this case, the D's along here, I would probably select those and then this symbol right here. And then I would do the smaller pieces last. And that's just how I've kind of figured out how to do it. I did a lot of paint by number when I was growing up. And of course, they're much more sophisticated now. For right now, this is a giveaway. So if you want to sign up for the giveaway, just um, go down in the comment section of this video and write the word craft, C-R-A-F-T, and you'll be in the running for the giveaway. And I will go to the comments and use the random comment picker, and we'll select a winner. And I'll put in the description box the date that we're going to select. It'll probably be another, probably two weeks till we um, select the winner. So uh, you've got plenty of time to sign up, but while you're thinking about it, just go down in the comment section and write the word craft and you can write anything you want about my videos about what i've selected here um, about this particular painting you can do anything you want down there as long as it's kind be kind all right let's look at let's turn this over they give us dmc numbers yes they do and there are two number four and number nine are the ab drills so let's take a look at the drills now sorry about the noise I'll try not to make too much noise. All right, let's look at these. I'm just going to roll these across the camera. You can look at the colors that are in this particular painting. This is uh, starting, of course, with um, black, and that's a you know pretty shiny. I like that gray and red and green. Some really bright colors in here. There's a gray, and then we have kind of a burgundy and a red green, a light green. Now these are the ABs, I believe. Yeah, those are the ABs. Aren't they beautiful? Look at this. Let me get them up there where you can see those. They're very sparkly. Very beautiful. Love that color, too. That's one of my favorite colors. And so we have, you know, oranges and lots of turquoise. That's the whole background of this particular canvas is turquoise. So there will be a lot of those. There are probably four or five packets of those. And here's a dark turquoise here and lots and lots of blue. So there you have it. That's a uh, beautiful, beautiful set of drills there. And here are some more blues. And here are some beautiful, looks like rhinestones. Aren't those beautiful? Look at that. They're a silver color. 
And those are a, those are number 19. Let's we'll see where those go in here. Number 19 is the X, and the X would be in these flowers right here. All these white flowers are full of the beautiful kind of a white or gray rhinestones. Beautiful. Oh, absolutely beautiful. And the green are 09s, which are, you look in the legend, and it says number 25. And they've also colored these in, so you know which ones are the AB drills. And number 25 is the T, and the T are all of these stems right here. Those are going to be these brilliant color green. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? I love that. Look how pretty those are. All right, so that has the colors covered. Let me turn this back over. And then you get a kit with some tweezers and two comfort grips, two pins, and you also get a tray and two blocks of wax. And let's see, there's a, looks like a five or a six placer and a three placer. So you get um, quite a few tools with this. And these are the tools you need to do this painting. You do not need to buy anything else to do this painting. Now, I know a lot of us have bought additional waxes and pins and all that, but you don't have to do that. You can use what's in this bag right here to complete this painting. So I'm going to wrap this back up and we will uh, give this away in a couple of weeks and I'll put the date down in the description box. So go down and put a comment below this uh, video and be sure to put the word craft in there. C-R-A-F-T. Put the word craft and this is how I usually run my giveaways on my On The Hook Crochet channel. They, uh, I, I usually do a giveaway every week and that's how we do it. So that the, there's a keyword down there that um, you have to put in in order to join up for the giveaway. Go down in the comment box and um, enter a comment with the word craft and you'll be in the running for this beautiful diamond painting by Craft Ease. And the artist, again, it's by Civil Art and beautifully, beautifully done. I really like it. And it's manageable size. You could get it done, I don't know, in a few sittings, maybe four, five, six sittings. You could get this finished. You get it up on your wall. Um, I would suggest that. If you have a room with any red in it at all, this would be a beautiful wall hanging for a room like that. So I have a red couch in my living room, and that's why I was drawn to this. I think this is quite gorgeous. So join me next time for classic diamond art.